be good. And I want to make sure here that I'm going to know this is delay. I'll put DOI and that's okay. Great. Now what I want to do is check out this little track right here. So you can see right there we've got a little guitar and it's a guitar string effect. A little bell at the end there we did it on the opposite end of the keyboard. So it's a keyboard split and sometimes you're splitting your keyboards. You may have one sound on one half, other sounds on the other half, and you know the players make up the sounds. So we're going to go back to the mix. We're back in the mix and saying, well look, this sound's got a guitar in the front, a little string in the middle. So I want to probably adjust that in the mix somewhere. So uh, normally if I go back to my mix window, Edit window rather here. And I'm looking for that piece. There it is right there. And here it is. This is the guitar string. I'll make it jumbo size. I'll see it better. There we go. That's much better. Now we can see here earlier I um, cut this note out right here, got in the way. I'm going to change my tool as well and get from this time compression thing and go into a more of a standard trim tool. Good. Well, we've got everything lined up. We're in slip mode, so I prefer to probably be in grid right now. Um, and again, maybe not. We'll find out. So, there's some automation here. For example, I'm going to go ahead and click this little button here and see our volume. We can adjust the automation. I can make the automation here a little larger. I can see this better. And I want to shrink this down somewhat and look at this sound. So, this is the current volume I have here. Now, this is going to last. I'll just keep the volume for now, let's say, and I'll play the track. And I'm going to do it from here also as well. Let's go back to make sure I got my three tool going on here. two bells at the end. I'm with three sounds going on here, right? That's a lot of sounds. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to just check out this thing from the top. It's right there, a little something going on, right? This little piece right here. So I'm going to open it up somewhat. And uh, right here, there's a piece right there. See that? Now I'm going to go here, and that turns into a little trimmer, and I can reduce this totally. Right down to like nothing right there, right? And when I go back to the top again, we'll hear it back. See, it's a little less than before. And what I can also do is I may move this over somewhat, get more of a sliding out, sliding in thing. Like this a little bit. See, so we're, we're actually in grid. So I may want to open it up even further. Ooh, that's way over. There we go. Okay, that's good. And now I'll take this and move it just a little bit over. See, now I'm in slip mode, so I can slip it around a little bit. And that'll work for me right there for now. It's just for now. I've got this guitar in the beginning, which is cool. But the string part sort of gradually rises in this track. And that's cool for me too. What I want to probably do is make sure that if it, as it does rise, that I've got something going on here that I like. So here, I might just want to, let's say from this section to this section here, I want to hear this back. I'm trying to hear where the guitars come in and where the strings actually come in. So you can see where these peaks are for the guitar and the strings. So the peak starts probably right about here, really. Yeah, right about there. So I can go to here and listen back again and get a better idea. There's a slow guitar. Okay, so what I want to do is join the stuff that's pretty low, like right around here, where it gets a little low. Right? I may want to bring this up. So it's gradual, actually, right? So it's pretty gradual how that works. So what I normally do is I'll click on it somewhat, raise it a little bit, 
And you'll see there's like these little dots here, right? So I may want to take this up a little bit more here, see? Just go up a little bit so it gradually rises with this track. And I'll play it back. See that? So I'm actually affecting the automation. Okay, that's not bad. So it's not bad at all. So right here, I want to maybe do it again. And sometimes you may say, well, look, I like the way that sound length could be the same. You can copy it and paste it someplace else. Say I copy this, and I went to here and want to place it, let's say, um, here, for instance. And I say, well, the sound's getting lower here. I want to probably elevate it more, paste it to there, turn it back. I want to get it loud enough before those bells come in. So I can say, well, now I want to adjust this part of the mix. You say, okay, that's not bad. Let's undo this little piece here at the end we just did. And bring this out some more. And let's say I want to bring this up a hair more. And go back to the top now. So here I may want to raise this one up a little bit more. So I may take that same piece or make a new one. I'll say right here, that string is like really soft. That comes down, so I want to say, well, look, you know, the best thing to do for me here is to maybe raise this up, period. So again, here I got my three tool going on, and I want to keep it up till that next part comes in right there. And I may want to just keep this up also as well. So see, we're adjusting the mix levels here. And we'll go back to here, and this is all done through the volume. So that's a little too loud. So the guitar is coming here. See that? So you're going to come here, bring it down some. And here, there's a guitar that comes in here. I'm going to bring it down a little bit here, too. Just a little. And from here, play it back again. See? It's a little too much, too radical, right? So the purpose here, though, is for you to understand. You've got to just adjust your levels as you hear it back. And the best way to hear it back also is in the mix. And it's not bad there. So what I'll do here now is I'll probably say, well, look, we did a lot of ray. Let's go back to the main window. We get a not a narrow view, get a much better view here. And I'll watch it. See the fader rise up here? The fader goes down. pull it out and I'll turn the overall volume down. We don't want to have it too loud and play it back. So we get a difference there. And you want to adjust that in your mix. Now what I normally do is just pretty much get all my levels set first, then go back and adjust my volume. Once everything is set, and see what I want to do with that little string part between the guitar and the string and the bell. And that's how we set the automation up for the volume automations in your Pro Tools system.